perhaps one of the most important theorems that links the rational numbers to the real numbers is the theorem of the density of the rationals, which says that it's OK to write down a definition of something, but we don't know whether there is even anything in the universe that meets that definition. Right? We don't even know that there is a such thing as a set which is dense in R, other than possibly R itself. Uh, although it's not always true that every set is dense in itself. Um, but I think we can convince ourselves that the real numbers <coughs> are dense. Right? In between any two real numbers, we can find another real number. Um, but what's interesting about the density of the rational uh, theorem says, and I'm going to put this in colloquial language again, the density of the rational says, in between any two real numbers, so this is maybe another way to think about it. We, we talked about it logically, but here it is verbally. In between any two reals, we can find what kind of number, according to this theorem? We can find a rational, right. We don't have, the, again, we haven't built up the axioms yet, so we don't have the tools to prove this yet. But this is the content of the density of the rationals theorem, right? It, it says that Q, the set of all rational numbers, is a dense subset of the reals. So even if we don't know what the reals are yet, we can still get some practice with the application of this theorem. Right? That if I have some number that's a real number, let's say E, and then I have another real number, pi, or something like that, right? Then those numbers we can convince ourselves, maybe or maybe you already have in another course, are not themselves rational. But the content of the density of the rationals theorem says that even however scary these numbers are, there exists a non-scary number, some rational number. And the example of these two numbers, one example might be three, which is a rational number that we can find in between those two reals. So it's never possible to zoom in far enough onto the real number line such that our zooming window doesn't have at least one rational number in it. And that's the content of the density of the rationals theorem. So it tells us that defining density is not a fruitless thing to do. Right? That there, is actually, there are actually important dense subsets of the real numbers out there. And one of them, maybe the most important for us, uh, is the set Q.